My name is Dixon Smith, MRO Sales Manager at es and &E. I'm in the studio today with Kent Planky from the Ashby Company. Thanks for being here today, Kent. Absolutely, Dixon. Thanks for having me. We're going to be talking about a new line of tools we're bringing into stock at es and &E. It may be the first time a lot of you have ever heard of this company. It's called Kinepex. And the first thing you may notice is that it's not pronounced the way you thought it was. This tool is not from around here, is it, Kent? It is not, Dixon. It's headquartered in Germany. We do have a U.S. location in a uh, suburb of Chicago to, to stock it, but they are, uh, they are German uh, hand tool company. Today, we're going to be focused on just a handful of tools that we're going to be stocking at es and &E. Kinepex is the world's biggest manufacturer of pliers. Ken has a demo uh, that he does with these pliers where he actually stands on, on a plier to show, show the strength of it. You want to do that for us? today, Kent? Yeah, absolutely. We'll, uh, um, we'll do a, a demo and show that, uh, uh, show the plier strength. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Kent, tell us about the three different types of pliers we're going to be stocking. Yeah, you guys are going to have uh, uh, kind of the, the signature um, style, which is going to be the, uh, uh, the Cobra uh, mm -hmm. pliers, which is uh, um, made out of, uh, you know, the German steel that we've been talking about. Um, also has some really great features, a, a push button release and a lot of uh, intricate uh, um, settings on there so you can really adjust it to, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to fit what you're going to be using it with. Mm -hmm. And the uh, design, um, not only with the German steel, but the, it really gets its strength from the, uh, um, the lower jaws um, actually angling out and the upper jaws angling in and that's where it kind of gets its, uh, its gripping pressure. Um, okay. But this is a, uh, um, an excellent uh, um, pair of pliers. Um, a, a similar style is going to be the, uh, the alligator, mm -hmm. which is uh, this one here, which is a very similar, uh, similar design as far as the, the steel and the, uh, and the jaws. Uh, the big difference is just the way it adjusts. It's kind of got an old school kind of a half moon on it. So you just kind of rotate it up and get your different, uh, different uh, setting. So those two are very uh, um, kind of uh, cousins, so to speak. It's really just a, a customer's preference as to uh, as to which one that they would uh, they would prefer. They work very well with um, uh, various uh, sizes and shapes. They've got uh, it'll grip a round um, uh, piece. It'll grip a square, um, a hexagon. Mm -hmm. So very very versatile um, pliers. Another plier that we're going to be stocking is the pipe gripping plier. That's a, that's a really slick plier. Let's, let's show them that one, Ken. Absolutely. Yeah, what Dixon's talking about here is this, uh, um, the pipe plier, which has the soft inserts, um, which is going to allow you to grip what you need and get uh, plenty of uh, pressure, um, but not to mar up or damage uh, what, you're, what you're tightening. So you're not going to, um, if you've got some plating on there, it's not going to strip it off. Um, if you uh, end up um, scratching it, um, or actually if it's a plastic type connector, you might end up breaking it. Uh, so it's going to inst install it properly, but without damaging the, the connector. And those cushion grips are uh, replaceable if somebody does end up uh, wearing them out, that they can uh, replace those. Yeah, I've always taken a rag or a towel or something and, and put that around it and then put the plier on. So with this one, you can just, it's already got the, the padded uh, part. Yes, great, uh, great feature, relatively new for Knipex. Um, the uh, uh, pipe pliers with the, with the soft inserts. One of the uh, next tools maybe we can talk about is the uh, adjustable plier. And this is really gonna take the place of uh, a wide assortment. Customer, what I typically have at home um, when I'm doing work is maybe a small and a medium and a uh, large adjustable mm -hmm. um, wrench. And then you have all your box end wrenches where this one will go down all the way snug uh, to virtually, you know, the jaws touching. All the way up to uh, opens up to a uh, to a two inch uh, two inch opening. It's almost a hybrid between an adjustable wrench and a and a pump plier. Right? Yep. Okay. So the uh, the adjustability and the strength on it, uh, you can take it all the way down snug, and it kind of has a little bit of a camming action in there to really get that squeeze, but the jaws remain parallel uh, to one another for that even uh, that even pressure. And even though they are smooth jaws, when you grip onto something. You can tell it really, it really has mm -hmm. some holding pressure, even though it doesn't have serrated teeth on it. Right. And an example of, got another demo we do here with a uh, uh, 
uh, to show a little bit of the time saving in the of the tool when you're on a uh, like a hex nut like this and you want to loosen it or tighten it what you do with this one is you just um, kind of lower the uh, lower handle mm -hmm. and allows you to uh, to stay on the nut without um, you know coming off and and readjusting most of the time when you do it with a, a standard pair you have to move it and Take you come it all off, the way off and then you come back on mm -hmm. so this one the same thing with uh, with tightening you just kind of drop that lower uh, your lower mm -hmm. hand and just kind of get a rhythm to it mm -hmm. uh, so a big time saver replaces mm -hmm. anywhere from maybe three to a 15 tools in your uh, in your toolbox yeah next item I want to talk about is the compact bolt cutters we're gonna be stocking these in six inch eight inch and ten inch the compact uh, the six inch uh, pliers um, very uh, small and compact uh, but with the design um, opens to a pretty wide angle and then the uh, the pivot camming action really is what gives the uh, um, the strength and it also has some laser um, etching done which helps allow it to cut through the uh, the material that it's uh, that it's cutting and uh, one thing one thing I should mention uh, um, also is the uh, the different handles there's going to be a, a dipped uh, material uh, also a dipped with texture that you're going to um, have and then you the next style would be a comfort grip which is really just a, a, a slightly larger and mm -hmm. really um, between those three, it's really just a customer preference right. as to uh, as to what they prefer. This one, you know, just fits in the hands uh, a mm -hmm. little bit better. And then the final one is going to be uh, similar size and shape to the Comfort, um, but it's going to be thousand volt uh, insulated okay. um, rated tools. And obviously, for obvious reasons, when a when a customer wants to use a uh, uh, an insulated uh, tool. Back to the, uh, um, the the bolt cutters that you were mentioning. Uh, you can have the six, eight, and uh, and ten inch, mm -hmm. and uh, I've got one here that we can actually go ahead and do a uh, uh, do a demo with. This one's got the comfort grips, uh, even though they very they narrow down to a very uh, tight um, as far as being able to carry them. Uh, the design really allows you to open the tool up significantly to get a fairly large um, piece of material in there, and the camming system really gives you a, a great amount of leverage. Uh, to be able to to cut the piece, so we've got a little demo here that we do with a uh, um, do with a nail. Just put it in there, apply the pressure, and that's a really compact tool to to have that much cutting power. Absolutely. One of the other products we're going to be stocking is, are these eight-inch nips. Yeah, these are an excellent product. These are made out of surgical steel and very sharp edges on them, and they don't have a, a bevel on the back side, but they're spring-loaded, so it's very nice that mm -hmm. it just comes back, uh, um, you know, to open up, but it, it has a, a pin inside, a retaining pin, which keeps it from opening too far, and then the built-in spring on the back side, which, uh, you know, kind of keeps it uh, um, opening and closing. And mm -hmm. to do a demonstration, uh, on a, for instance, on a cable tie, uh, people that have worked with uh, with cable ties in the past, if you don't cut that off with a proper tool, um, you're going to leave a sharp jagged edge on there. Where when using this one, you just take the back side, put it up flush against the cable tie, and make your cut. And it's going to give you a nice flush um, cut off with no sharp or, or jagged edges. So that uh, um, excellent uh, excellent tool for uh, um, doing precision, um, you know, type uh, type work. And lastly, let's talk about this, uh, this cabinet key. It's a four-way key. These will do a lot of different things. Yeah, this is something you guys are gonna be stocking that uh, um, a control cabinet key. So it's got the different uh, uh, shapes that a, uh, an electrician may run into, mm -hmm. uh, but trying to get into a, to a different cabinet, um, as well as has a, uh, a bit for a, uh, a slotted and a, uh, and a Phillips head uh, that you can put into the uh, into the square one and use it as a uh, as a screwdriver for your slotted or your Phillips and has your your different sizes the triangle a small square and then kind of your uh, um, standard I guess what I would think of as for a control cabinet type yeah. key should be able to get into pretty much any cabinet with that yes all right thanks Kent <laughs>
You want to do that for us? Now? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go do that. So we got to go out to the warehouse and do this. Yeah. All right. This is a demonstration showing the gripping strength of the Cobra Knipex pliers. Here you can see uh, actually supporting uh, my body weight uh, over 225 pounds as the jaws grip and bite into the steel uh, bar. So very strong. Kent, thanks again for coming into the studio today. We look forward to working with you on Kinepex tools. Thank you, Dixon. Looking forward to, uh, to working with you guys.